My name is Javi Gil. I'm an organic land care consultant. Um, today in this video, I, I will talk about a clover. Why it's good to have clover on your lawn. Um, so today I'm at this uh, property, and we have. Uh, this is an organic lawn. It's uh, mainly uh, or, um, Kentucky bluegrass, fine fescue, and ryegrass. This property was uh, chemically treated before many years ago uh, and then they did a transition from chemical to organic so uh, as of today this is 100% organic um, I introduced uh, clover to the property several years ago so here you can see it's uh, basically everywhere I go uh, clover is present um, what I like about uh, clover is that uh, it fixes uh, the nitrogen from the air and it brings it back to the soil. So this is a good way for me to uh, not to use fertilizer because uh, the grass is getting all the fertilizer, all the nitrogen that it needs from, from the clover. Um, I'm also leaving the grass clipping so I don't bag anything. So uh, that's more nutrients uh, for the microbes in the soil. So this is, I'm gonna show you, this is a good comparison because I have, uh, this is an, uh, an organic, organic lawn. Uh, there you can see the clover and then uh, we also have a chemical lawn so here the grass is much uh, hi girl here the grass is uh, much much shorter it's probably around uh, maybe an inch and a half right now and uh, I here you see the organic which is uh, Roughly three inches or so, three inches tall. So in the next uh, in the next few weeks, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to keep mowing the lawn. I'm going to mulch these leaves. So the mulch the the mulched leaves they're going to become part of the soil. So eventually it will turn into organic matter. Uh, this is going to feed the microbes in the soil. The microbes are going to produce nutrients, and then the grass is going to take whatever they need. So. Um, um, clover is good, so if you have the chance to reseed your lawn, this is the best time of the year, uh, the fall, and also the next best time is going to be uh, um, early in the spring. So every spring and every fall, you should reseed your lawn with a mix of uh, at least Kentucky blue, ryegrass, and, uh, and fine fescue, and also um, introduce some clover in the mix, and uh, that's that's basically it. So uh, stay tuned for uh, for my next video. I'll be talking. Uh, Probably about compost, compost tea, how to make compost, and uh, timings and uh, preparation of compost tea. So, thanks for watching and have a great day.